have seen that request a lot. Free wallet. One thing I will say about learning to code, if you don't know how to code, is you really Blue sky. Nice. Come on. Oh, good boy. That's our coffee. <sighs> Finally some sun. We have lots of work to do, so. Hey Google, turn on the office lights. This one can go down there. Personal laptop, AirPods, SD card, wallet. AirPods can go right there. Nice and tidy. Okay, where's my laptop? Ah. Got it. Oh, didn't even notice the calendar's changed. By the way, if you guys haven't seen my setup video for this office, put a link to it right here. I sometimes find that because I use this keyboard for the, oh, hang on, let me show you guys something quickly. We actually installed the Windows gaming PC out here in the lounge, which is really cool, because then we can plug it into the TV and then use an Xbox controller to play games. Here's the problem. Sometimes we need a keyboard to do things. Now we can use the on-screen accessibility keyboard on Windows, but sometimes I just Bluetooth pair this to the Windows and then this is the issue. Then I go back to the office and it's connected to the other one. So I have to like factory reset it again. There it is. Little flashing light. Connect and then boom. Okay, we're connected. We're good. So what I'm trying to do this morning is we have a Web3 wallet and we've got a transaction coming through and what we want to do is we want to be able to set a custom gas limit for the user on the front end which then interacts with their entire transaction on chain. That's essentially it. Uh, it'll give them an estimation of what the total gas is going to be in that transaction. Based on that we should be able to process that transaction successfully. Yeah that's the feature in a nutshell that I need to get done very shortly. So yeah hope you guys are enjoying these extra details. Might destroy my watch time who knows. And just to be a little bit more specific about what I actually do most of the work I do is very front end related but it's of a lot of interest to me and I have built a few fun back-end projects which has been great uh, I happen to work in a web 3 based company with about 300 other employees yeah we have a lot of fun so yeah that's what I do one of the first videos that I posted on this channel was a day in the life of a blockchain engineer or developer whatever I called it the lifestyle that you'll see in that video is very different to what I do now that was at a previous company where most of them were based over in the US and also in the UK which meant that I was working working crazy weird hours so that I could be online at the same time as them. The company that I'm currently at, it's great. Most of us are actually based here in New Zealand. I've got a great local team, I've got cool friends. Uh, we build really exciting tech. So if you're confused as to why I'm not uploading day in the life of a blockchain developer, yeah, hope that makes sense. Him, what you doing? Oh, by the way, we had a massive, massive cyclone. About a week and a half, maybe two weeks later, we got another warning that there was a, another big storm. In fact, a cyclone Gabriel coming to New Zealand. The beach actually got pretty destroyed. In the meantime, what we did though, is we actually tied up pretty much all our stuff outside. So our surfboards, our barbecue, let me show you. I'm gonna just put this guy on so you guys can see what it's like with like sunglasses. Yeah, so we pretty much tied everything up because otherwise it blows the barbecue cover off, the surfboards go flying. Um, but yeah, we survived, which is nice. And finally, we have a little bit of blue sky. So first time in a while, to be honest, that we've had blue sky. It's actually been terrible weather. Anyway, back to work. We've got stuff to do. Hemi, come on. Oh my gosh. This is my life. A dog outside barks, which causes Hermie to bark. Come on, come on, let's go. There we go. 
have run out of coffee, so... Oh, hang on. There is a little bit in there. Oh, yes. Also, for all you uh, coffee perfectionists out there, I know, I've just put dry coffee into used coffee. But, you know what? What are you gonna do? Now, that's very messy. So let's clean this up. One thing I will say about... Why do I always talk whenever this is boiling? It always makes the video way louder. One thing I will say about learning to code, if you don't know how to code, is you really just need to start. Python, should I do JavaScript? Should I do C Sharp and for all these other things? I think it really depends what you want to go into. Like if you want to go into web development, you probably want to be working with something like JavaScript. If you want to be going into AI, you probably want to be working with something like Python. One resource I will say that you should probably check out, especially if you want to get into web development, is called Scrimba. Now I'm not sponsored by them at all, I have no affiliate link. It's interactive, it teaches you everything you need to know about getting started in web development and it's completely free. Definitely check that out. Go and start learning. That's all it really is and the reality is it's gonna take a while. Like you're not going to learn how to code within like one week. The skill in coding is not just writing code, it's knowing how you should write your code. Yeah, now I'm just talking. Now I'm just rambling but you guys get the point if you want to get started coding just go check out scrimba or something else like free code camp on youtube there's so many free resources out there you don't need to pay for anything just to put it out there no i didn't go to college or university to learn coding a lot of my friends and colleagues did and to be honest a lot of them are super smart and way smarter than me so i don't know the best thing to do all i know is that i self-taught myself so did my brother so did my other brother that's just what i like to do self-taught self-paced yeah I encourage you guys if you want to get started coding just get started that's it now i'm just rambling again but doesn't that coffee just look absolutely gorgeous oh it looks so good uh, spilled it again this is what working from home is like sometimes though. Heaps of work done, and then you have a little break, and then you do more work, and then you have a break, and then you have more work, then you break. Then again, this really just sounds like the office, except there's no people here. What the hell am I even talking about right now? <laughs> now, because of these storms and the cyclone, I have been stuck at home for the last, like, five days. I normally work Monday at home, Tuesday office, Wednesday at home, Thursday office, Friday at home, then have the weekend, which is great because then I get a bit of balance. At my previous job, I was fully work from home. And to be honest, that actually gets a little bit boring after a while. I actually love having a mix between like work collaboratively and then you work at home a couple of days and you super focus, get stuff done. Tomorrow I want to be in the office. So hopefully if the weather stays great, I'll be able to go in. This is where the opportunity was to break into the market, to get a job you might have to Hey, hey. Hey. Creating the UAT APIs, creating the event. Hey, me. Come. Yeah, Push that, that's all, it's all looking great and should, in theory, work great. King then, sweet. <laughs> um, otherwise, we'll move on to the... It's already done. Okay, sweet. Yep. Cool, Liz. Sweet. Okay. Oh. So yeah, what's cool is we have some new work coming up and I'm really excited to get started on it. Why do you sleep all day? Hey. Oh yeah. The best mayo ever. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, my, heart, this is history. my heart is beating so fast right now. Oh the opening shot is uh it's it's a prime it's a prime bottle. You'll you'll tell, you'll tell. Not That's the, that's the issue. Oh it's man. Like the one, do you, do you so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Let's go. Come on. This is so bad. So we just had a big storm the other day. This used to be like the sand used to come up to here. Can't really launch a boat using that anymore. That ain't gonna work. Anyway, beautiful day. Nice to finally get some blue sky. Oh wow. 
Man, concrete's fallen down. Let's go up here. Let's go. Holy damn, that's crazy. No, stay here. Wow. Hibby! Hibby! Good boy! Good stuff, man. Well, it's been a great video so far. I have a lot of work to do, so I'm gonna get that done by this afternoon. Make sure if you're a developer, you click subscribe below. This may be the channel for you. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.